Another day and another try. Here's the uh, the the lathe. Let me. I'm sorry, I'm a little winded. What happened is I called Casey to bring over the forklift. Well, he did. I proceeded to get it stuck in my gravel. It's dry, and the gravel is pretty well packed, but somehow it got stuck. Well, I'm out another 90 bucks to get this hauled away, so forget the forklift. Back to the uh, shop crane. Let me tell you what I did this morning. I stuffed this bar into the shop crane to give it a little extra length. I knew that this thing was rated for a quarter ton at the last post, but I also know that to sell in America it has to be rated at over 200 percent for what its load capacity is. So I knew that I could at least get a little bit extra length out of it. So I had this pipe, this long piece of metal, and I knew that it would hold at least half a ton. <clears throat> so I shoved it in there, wedged it, then I created this this thing by putting some hose clamps onto a strap, moving the strap around the thing, and I got it up. And guess what? I got it up here. I was so thrilled. I was so thrilled. Then I realized I had it up there backwards with a head up here facing that way. I want it facing this way. Blast it! So I took it back off, and now it's actually off the uh, crane at the moment. But it's still hooked to the pipe to the uh, strap, so I should be able to lift it back up. I need to turn it 180 and try to lift it up again. Once I get it up there, then I'll use a jack to put the splash plate under it. <coughs> oh boy! Excuse my French. I don't fucking believe I did it. Look at this. It worked. It goddamn worked. I got it up here. It's a little dented. The paint scratched. It's not on the plate. But it's up here, god damn it. It's up here. More this time. That is going to cost me $170. $170 goddamn dollars, and I didn't need that. I did it on my own. $170 to get a tow truck. And that is on a discount. Time is right around 5 o'clock. As you can see, things are still a little cluttered. I'm still trying to put things away, even as I film this. But I have been pushing and pulling and tugging and lifting all day, and boy am I tired. I am so tired, but as you can see, the new lathe is where it belongs, in place. <coughs> and that was monumental, and I did it by myself. I got it done by myself. <sighs> then I was trying to put things away, because the place I had turned it into an absolute shambles of a mess in the process. And by moving stuff, I ended up with, well, like, if you look, there's a bunch of trash on the floor over here. That's from uh, <coughs> moving stuff around. But you see that uh, pile of junk in the corner there? I was trying to put something up on the shelves there, and I fell off that ladder. Fortunately, the uh, shelves that had been up there had a whole bunch of particle board shelving. Well, as a temporary thing, I had stacked all that particle board over here, loosely, at an angle. And when I fell off the ladder, I landed on the particle boards. They all shattered, and I didn't. I am very well bruised. I've taken about six Advil. I'm planning on buying a six-pack tonight and drinking it. I'm going to be roaring drunk by 10 o'clock tonight, and I don't give a damn because I just hurt everywhere right now from aches and, and bruises. Nothing broke, nothing uh, serious, and no punctures anywhere, but I, I sort of bruised a lot of places, and it sort of kind of hurts a lot at the moment. But anyway, I think it's worth it. I got this thing in place. 
you notice that the tailstock isn't on it. I got an RMA from McGrizzly and sent it back today. Uh, fortunately, they gave me a shipping label and they paid for the shipping, so it only cost me three bucks in uh, uh, packing material to get it to sent. So they're going to send me a brand new tailstock for a G0602. And that's, that'll make me happy. But, well, that's my shop today. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to do a little bit more rearranging, cleaning, getting things put away, squared away. And then I'm going to tackle cleaning, lubricating, and doing the break-in procedure on this lathe. I don't plan on cutting anything or, or doing any kind of, of uh, uh, feeds and speeds thing, though I do plan on running all of the speeds that are available on the lathe for at least five minutes after I've refilled the oil because in the process of getting it up here I sort of spilled just about all the oil that was in the reservoir so I've got to refill the oil which fills on this side as I recall and uh, dumps on the other side I need to put together a uh, uh, emptying uh, some kind of emptying port <coughs> and uh, anyway that's that's tomorrow I am done for the day